هيسالكوا سؤال هيسالكوا سؤال مش احنا لما بناكل ممكن ايدينا تتوسخ شويه وممكن اللي جه على ايدينا ده يبقى حاجه زيت اويلش نغسل ايدينا صح بس مش لازم نفهم الاول ايه اللي احنا بنغسل ايدينا منه ده واللي لما بنغسل ايدينا بميه بس مش بتنفع طيب خلينا نسال الاول سؤال هو لو احنا حطينا ووتر على اويل بيدوبوا في بعض طيب احنا دلوقتي عندنا دنستيز مختلفة حتى لو جبت ستيك زي كده وبدأت اقلبه شوية وهيطلع لفوق تاني تعالوا بقى نشوف لو حطينا على الاويل والمية صابون ايه اللي هيحصل هاي ميكس مين بيقول هاي ميكس شوية سوب اهم الاتنين بقوا حاجة واحدة مش بيفصلوا عن بعض ليه بقى حصل كده انا هقول لكم ليه حصل كده بس هعمل لكم شوية سوب كمان هعلمكم ازاي تعملوا سوب You want me to talk in English? Okay, I will talk in English. What what I did here is mixing water and oil using soap. Soap make the oil and water mix together. Okay. Now we will learn how to make soap. If the grease, if the grease on our hands is oilish, how the water from the top will wash it? They don't mix. We will use. We will use in the soup part oil. This is oleic acid. We will add just six milliliters of oleic acid. This is a measurement tool named graduated cylinder. We will add 500 milliliters of oleic acid. We have a mixer. Add all the 500 milliliters and another 100. The measurements are very important. To make soap, the measurements are very important. We have 600 milliliters of oleic acid, which is a fatty acid. The oleic acid will mix with the grease on our hands. When we, when we eat, we will prepare a solution of sodium hydroxide. The sodium hydroxide is known by the name lye. The lye will turn will turn the oleic acid into soap. Now we will prepare 100 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. What I have here is sodium hydroxide. Just we will take about five spoons. Now we will add uh, 100 milliliters of water to make a solution. Now I have a solution. After mixing, I have a solution of 100 milliliters sodium hydroxide. This reaction called an exothermic reaction, which means that this reaction expels heat. Now I will add some drops of essential oil. This is a lavender oil to make the soap smells good. I think now the solution is ready. This is a solution. After adding this solution into the lake acid and mixing, it will turn into soap, but in the liquid phase. Now we need to mix all to become integrated into each other. Then try any tray or any shape you want to put the soap in it. The cake trays, the silicone cake trays does the job to take the shape of a flower or a heart. Now we can add the soap into any shape we want. We add it into this baker after two days, after two days from now. Just after two days from now, this will be a hard block of soap that we can wash our hands with. It. Let me ask you a question. In these times, we know Corona. Yep. We need to wash our hands every day, every second and every minute. Every minute for 20 seconds. So you have just 40 seconds to live. Alcohol. في حاجة كمان سانيتايزر واش اور هاند وذ سوب وي ميد ذا سوب وي نيد تو ميك سمثينج ايلس تو كيل ذا كورونا ليت اس ميك سم هاند سانيتايزر هاند جل ذس از واتر واتر از ليكويد ويل اد سم ليكويد هير واتر اد سم واتر هير اند اد سم واتر هير هاو تو تيرن ذس واتر انتو ا جل 
we need to use something called a solidifier that makes the, 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 the water turns solid or turns into gel. I have now three solidifiers and you choose what solidifier you want us to make gel, hand gel, hand sanitizing gel with. This one here is called Dantan. Dantan is extracted from algae, very, very tiny organisms. If we add some Dantan and mix it, watch what will happen. It's getting thicker, it's getting more viscous, right? It's going to be a gel. This is one solidifier. Another solidifier we have here is a solidifier called polyamide. Add some polyamide on water and mix. It's going to turn into a gel. Very viscous gel. Look how thick it became. Another material here we call carbobol. If we add some carbobol also in water, this is very gen generous addition to water also it will become a gel so where is the sanitization part we made the gel part we need to add the sanitizer alcohol which type of alcohol ethanol isopropanol ethanol is very fine for the liquid type of sanitizer isopropanol works with the gel type of sanitizer now we will make a gel but we will measure but we will measure in kul haga we need to add some glycerol to make the gel fine on our hands we will add just a few drops of glycerol which type of sol solidifier you want us to use dantan or polyamide or carbobol polyamide you want to polyamide you will just add about one gram just about one gram on the glycerol and mix it. We'll add 40 milliliters of water and we will add them slowly. Add and mix, add and mix. Now we are making the gel. We made the gel part. Now we add the sanitization part. We can add some polyamide more to make it thicker. We will add now 60 milliliters of glycerol. 16 milli glycerol. Now we have hand sanitizing gel can use this sanitize my hand two hours later everybody's here everybody's here i just want to tell you about my elephant friend his name is mohsin mohsin is a little naughty elephant he has a long a very long and giant teeth but he never washes his teeth. He, he never washes his teeth. Very long and ugly and dirty teeth. So I've decided to make toothpaste for my friend elephant. For the ingredients we will use, here I have a tool, it's called conical flask. This is the secret ingredient here. So I am hiding it. Nope, it's not carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas. This is a liquid. This liquid here is called hydrogen peroxide. In Arabic, they say mayat oxygen or oxygen water. The mummies know this material. The mummies know this material. They use it in hair dyes. But with a concentration of 5%, this is 50%. We will add some of this material here. My friend elephant, Mohsin, is a very giant elephant. So I will make a lot of toothpaste for him. They talk in the woo sound. They have one word in their language, woo. I added some soap. I've mixed here some material. Now I add another secret ingredient. It's called potassium permanganate. It's a catalyst. It's a catalyst that will release the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide. I'll add a generous amount. Now it's the moment of truth. Everybody. Everybody look here. Look here everybody. One, two, three. Ah. 
I will talk about uh, a magic liquid my friend Elephant gave me. This magic liquid is made in the jungle. My uh, friend Elephant Mohsen gave me this liquid. Here we have five beakers and water in it. This liquid is magical. It has no color but changes its color. If I added it, it's gonna be red. If I add it here, it's purple. If I added it here, it's a lighter purple. Here, it's blue or greenish blue. Here, it's a dark green. It's a very magical liquid. Who wants to know what happened? Who wants to know what happened? This is not a magical liquid. Magician just tends to tell us it's magic. It's not magic, it's always science. What I have here is called a TH indicator. It gives us different colors when it reacts with different degrees of pH. What I have here, what I have here is acid, a very strong acid. What I have here is a very strong base. And this is a gradient of pH. So when I add the material in each beaker, it gives us different color. But sadly, the jungle my friend Mohsen, the elephant, lives in, they were a, a volcano, a very big eruption. So I think I will make a volcano here. I will make a volcano erupt here. Just a little volcano, not very, not very big, just a little volcano. What I have here, can anybody guess what is here? Nope, it's sugar. It's just sugar. And as human beings, we use sugar. We eat sugar. It gives us power. Now we are gonna release all the energy we are using from this sugar at one time. We will add our secret ingredient. It's also potassium permanganate. It's a very, very, very reactive and very dangerous material. It's gonna make a volcano. I think it's properly mixed. Let's make it take a shape of a volcano. Make a this is a very dangerous experiment. It's a volcano. It's a small scale volcano. Don't make any sound. I'm very scared. I will run this way. This is a volcano. It's not a joke. Three, two, one. Now we are gonna make a fire festival. Everybody ready? Can I ask you a question? What is the color of fire? Red? Red or orange? Blue? You know what, uh, what the answer is? The fire can be any color. The fire can be any color. Just now, I'm gonna make fires with four different colors. First, to make fires with different colors, we need to prepare solutions of different salts. Because the salts, when they get burned, they will give, dif they will give different colors. We will start with a salt called lithium chloride. It's supposed to give us the color uh, 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 red. We're not gonna use water, we're gonna use ethanol to make it more flammable, to make a lot of fire. We're gonna prepare four solutions by adding four different salts. This is lithium chloride. Two pinches of lithium chloride. We're get and some magnesium sulfate. We're gonna add two pinches of magnesium sulfate. And this, ma this powder is called borax. We're gonna add some borax. Borax, we use it in slime, yep. And this really nice blue salt is called copper sulfate. Now we are gonna add ethanol on each one to make a solution. Need four sticks. 
Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Everything should be mixed very perfectly. Then we end. We add. We we gonna add these solutions into this sprayer. Now I'm gonna wash my hand with water because my hand got some uh, ethanol on it. I don't wanna get burned. Everyone, try to guess the color of the fire we are gonna get from this one. I don't know what is it. Blue? Maybe? 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 Okay. It's orange, right? Then this is the borax. It's orange. This is the Let's see. This is the lithium chloride. Let's try a different one. Green. Green. This is the copper sulfate. Did we use this one? Who likes rockets? That fly to the space. You want to know how the rocket works? There is a man, a scientist, a very, very old scientist, who named Tesla, who invented a type of motor for jet engines and rockets. We are going to make this motor now. For a rocket engine, we need two things. We need the fuel and we need the oxidizer that supplies the fuel with oxygen to burn. Now we're going to prepare the oxidizer, which is oxygen. We are going to add a little of hydrogen peroxide to prepare some oxygen then we will add a catalyst to release the oxygen from the hydrogen peroxide now we are gonna add some ethanol this is the oxidizer I hope it works we're gonna mix it gonna mix it to, to be mixed with the oxygen Yeah.